Good evening everyone, I'm Jack. This here is Rusty, a gray banded king snake. Uh, just taking a little bit of a break from cleaning up some of my reptile room today and wanted to do just a short video kind of to discuss what slash who uh, more. It was an inspiration for some of what I do here at Python Addiction. So stick around. Again, hey everyone. Today's video is kind of a little bit more of an impromptu thing. Um, I've been watching and following a lot of what's been going on with Brian on his channel and everything like that. So I wanted to take a minute to kind of uh, introduce you all as my viewers and to reach out at the same time to him to kind of uh, bring you guys on to what is my inspiration for doing what I'm doing here uh, with both the, the breeding of the ball pythons, my collection, and the rescue efforts that I partake in as well. And it has to stem a lot with uh, YouTubers like Brian Barchak, Brian Bartle, uh, Reach Out Reptiles, Adam from Wicked Winter, Wicked Rip, bleh, I can't speak today, uh, Wicked Wicked Reptile, and Snake Discovery, lots of those, but Brian's channel was one of the bigger ones that was a, had a big impact on me. Um, I went through a lot of what Brian is going through right now started about five years ago and I'm still here and it's part in the part of it is all of the amazing people that helped during because I had to go through my treatments and stuff during COVID which was a super difficult time period. And I'm normally not a person to get very personal. So forgive me, this is kind of out of my normal comfort zone, but we have to do that kind of thing sometimes. But going through the treatments and stuff like that during that point in time in our history was extremely difficult because I couldn't have anyone with me. So I had to find other ways to keep myself entertained as I spent hours going through treatment essentially alone. Yeah, there was some of the nurses there and stuff like that, but as I was going through, because I ended up having to go through two total rounds worth of treatment, two different surgeries, and... Thankfully, I'm in remission now, so I can't complain, but it's been a battle. As some of you probably have already heard from previous videos, I'm actually deaf. I lost my hearing as part of going through that part of my life's journey, so that's been its own struggle. But I wanted to reach out to Brian specifically and say you're not alone, that you've been an inspiration to lots and lots of people. I watched pretty much your entire history worth of content that was on YouTube during my time going through my treatments. It was a safety zone, so to speak, for me. It brought me a lot of happiness and joy 
and at the same time it kind of took my mind off from what was going on right then and there in my life and yeah it's not easy not easy at all what you're going through what you will be going through it's a battle sometimes it'll feel uphill sometimes it'll feel downhill sometimes you'll want to give up don't um i can say that if you push through you'll make it through to the other side may not be exactly the same person that you are now but you'll be a better person at least that's how i see it i sure wasn't on youtube before all of this um kind of exposing myself being deaf still being able to speak it's it's hard because i can't hear anything that i'm saying to you specifically i have to rely on captioning and a lot of other stuff to make sure that my message is conveyed the right way now um it's one of the hard things that i find putting out youtube content because i want to make sure that the captions are perfect because i know that the ai captioning is crap but it's those little struggles that you'll go through when you're going through treatment you'll have good days you'll have bad days and find those things that anchor you like you've said in your videos on your vlog it's those little things that'll help you get through it'll be the family and the thousands and thousands of people that are out there praying for you like me um you're not alone and reach out if you want to talk i have ways to be able to talk over the phone using interpreter and captioning and stuff like that so we can talk over the phone or uh, talk through facetime or whatever having that support is a good thing i know you don't know me personally i've never actually met you i'd love to actually take the time to go out and visit the whole reptarium and everything like that that's going on and meet a lot of your reptiles in person that would be awesome um it's just it's life is difficult in many different ways we all have our own struggles but you have support out there and that's what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share with my audience to know that I'm a real person, no different than any of you that are watching my channel. Um, I know I tend to ramble sometimes, but that's me. I mean, I'm still here, thank God. So what I'm doing is to show you guys that anybody can do what they put their mind to and that anybody can be a influence or a inspiration to somebody else especially through platforms like youtube and even facebook with the tiktok feeds and the shorts and all of that though i'm not a huge fan of those because they don't have captions, I can't hear what's going on in a lot of them. But there's lots of different ways for people to be inspirations. Brian, you've been an inspiration for me. No different than several of the other YouTubers that are out there. Um, that are in the whole reptile world. And it's my hope that I'll meet all of yous because a lot of you have been my inspiration, have been my hidden rock, supporting me through a very, very hard time in my life, and you didn't even know it. And that's a true testament to having a legacy. And you have a legacy 
that you've already established as a integral part of the reptile community. So stay strong and know that we're all rooting for you in our own ways. And here, I'm getting all for glumped now. It's an emotional day. <laughs> but thank you to all of my supporters, to all of my viewers. Thank you again, Brian. And to everyone else. If you like this more down-to-earth, not exactly reptile-related, but still reptile-related type of side content, me bringing things kind of to the real world and letting you know a little bit more about me directly. Uh, let me know in the comments below, um, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon because that really helps. I'm only at, I think, 45 or 48 views, uh, or not views, but uh, subscribers at this moment in time. Every little bit helps to get me noticed, to bring others into my community so I can share my love and um, passions for the animals that I keep and the animals that I breed. So until next time.